If you hear knockout JS everywhere and don't have any freaking idea how this thing work, this is the right video. The first thing we will go to the knockout JS website and this is a really very good website, a lot of live tutorials. But first thing you need to click on this guy and this is the library and this is minified so it's not readable. Don't try to read it but you try to save it. So save as and I save it in desktop. I have a knockout folder just save it and next step is the editor and I have a notepad plus plus you could have any editor first thing in the HTML is a reference to the library and if you know HTML you know that's how you reference to a library knockout and this is 2.2.1.js and you will close the script tag if you want to make sure that you have the reference to the library go to the Chrome run it go to the developers tool and type KO. KO stands for knockout and if it is defined and give you an object then you have knockout. Remember knockout is MVVM which is kind of MVC so the VM is view model so you need a view model and we will create a view model in JavaScript so I will create a script tag and if you know JavaScript the way of creating an object is just these two parentheses and you will give a name obg of the name of the object and if your object has some property for example we have first name and we will give some value to this property say my name so you have this object remember i told you mvvm so v is view so you need a view here so we will create a view and this paragraph is our view we want to show the first name and we will close it if I want to see so far what I have done and I can go to my browser and refresh it if we want to make somebody's name dynamic or change sometime we can create a tag here it could be anything I will create a span here since I don't have any value it will not display anything now we have to connect this object to the view that means we have to bind the values and binding is very simple ko dot apply bindings and you will pass the object you want to bind here we want to bind obz and the last step to tell the view how to read this value so you know html has a data attribute you can extend it to bind and the type of binding would be text and what you want to display you want to display the first name that's all you need to do if you go to the browser and refresh it you see my name is here and if you change it say my third name and save it here refresh it you have my third name here that's how knockout works and it's super simple